Hey, BookTube, I just realized that that is really high. Okay, um, I gotta make sure I get the top of my hair and the bottom of my beard. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, um, so I wanted to do a quick little chat, and I keep noticing I'm slouching. I'm like in a chair that keeps going down. No, I'm just gonna go like that a little bit. There we go. That's kind of how things work, right? Okay. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the Conan comics. Um, <clears throat> I had been waiting for this um, in the fall when I first heard about it. And um, I was really confused. This is one thing I haven't looked up. I heard that... Um, Gail Simone was supposed to write it. And um, although I haven't read it, but I've heard her work on Red Sonia was really good. Um, going off of her run on Batgirl, um, I was not super excited. Um, but apparently... <clears throat> At least, all, as of what I know right now, she's not involved. She might be in one of the other ones. But, um, so Marvel's putting out um, three different Conan titles. Um, Conan the Barbarian, Savage Sword of Conan, and um, Age of Conan. And the first character they're going to be doing is Baylet um, from Queen of the Black Coast, which is awesome. And I guess all of the... Um, Age of Conan stories are going to be like a mini series of a different character um, from the Conan canon, I guess. So that's um, really interesting because I feel like the writers can um, really do whatever they want um, within reason, I guess, and it's not going to fuck anything up. Um, so, I am looking forward to that title probably more than any other. Um, and I was really scared when Marvel got these rights because um, I haven't been a huge fan of a lot of the things Marvel's been doing lately. <clears throat> but... Um, and that's, I don't think that's a secret at all. Um, and when I mean lately, I mean like the last like five years. Um, with some exception to Moon Knight. Um, but that's neither here nor there. So, with Conan. So I read Conan the Barbarian 1 and 2. Um, those are the only ones that are out now, by the way. Um, I don't know exactly if Savage Sword is going to be um, kind of in the style that the old Savage Sword of Conan was, which was um, more adult-themed. <clears throat> um, and it was in black and white. So, hang on. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's really loud. Um, anyway, um, I was... I don't mind if it's black and white... <clears throat> I doubt it will be because I'm sure they're going to want to charge like five bucks for it. So um, it'll probably be um, color. But um, so let's talk about the Conan story first. The other thing that scared me knowing that Marvel is behind this is that the first arc they're doing is the life and death of Conan. <clears throat> and what I am horrified of is if this whole story arc is just a um, stab at toxic masculinity, um, so they're going to do something to where they can kill the most toxic masculine person that ever existed. <clears throat> so that was my fear. But, um, the story is pretty good. Um, the artwork's 
the artwork isn't as good as previous Conan artwork I've seen, but it's not bad. Um, I've seen worse. Um, and, like, when Steve Donahue talked about this, he was talking about how he's, like, a big stickler for the art. I am too, to an extent. Like, the story, if the story's good, I can be totally forgiving with the art. <clears throat> as long as everyone doesn't look the same. That drives me fucking crazy. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the um, issue here. So, the story's good. The second issue was good. Um, and since the first issue leaves you on a cliffhanger and the second issue doesn't, I mean, it does, but it doesn't like take care of the first cliffhanger. Really? I was getting a little miffed, but then it ties it in. So, um, that was cool. And I read the, um, the other thing they, they do the Hyborian page, which is awesome because like that was something that they did way back when um and it's just kind of like a letter from the editor and if there's any um like mailbag letters or anything like that um they'll put it in there so um the in those little hyborian page things um, the guy, oh man, his name, Buso, I think his name is, um, he seems to be a big fan, which is great, and the team seems to be a big fan, so I'm excited about that. Um, the other thing I'm excited about is they have um, this novella playing in... Um, this comic called um, Black Starlight, I want to say. I hope that's correct. Um, and it's a novella. It's just a story. Um, and it's not bad. Um, I'm kind of digging it. And then at the end, it said, um, if you want to hear more about like what led up to this adventure or whatever, check out this book by the same author. Um, and the publisher is a publisher called Perilous Worlds, who I'd never heard of before this. <clears throat> and so I went and checked out their website. Hey, chill out. I went and checked out their website, and um, they have somebody working on that, and they have somebody working on a Baylet novel. And um, what intrigued me is that they're partners with Marvel and Capcom and not Capcom, Funcom. Now Funcom is the one who is doing Conan Exiles and Marvel is obviously doing the comic. But I'm trying to figure out here if Perilous Worlds is doing the comic and kind of like just putting it out through Marvel. Like I don't I don't know what's going on. So I wrote him an email or them or whatever, um, trying to get um, some sort of interview going because this is like really exciting. And if if this one property can be free of um, bullcrap, because another thing I have been doing is um, reading Conan fanzines from the 90s. And in those, like, they talk about, like, all the novels that Tor was putting out. And even in the 90s, the authors were trying to change Conan's behavior to where, like, he wouldn't like drink and he wouldn't um hang out with the ladies the night before a battle and stuff like that and just like not that that's like 
a huge deal breaker, but it, like that is totally against Conan's character. Conan's character has always been like live for right now because you have no idea if you're going to die in the next 10 minutes. So you might as well have the best time possible all the time, you know? <clears throat> I know that's not like his motto. It's usually like what does Arnie say like like I don't know, you guys know the line like what's best in life or whatever. Um <clears throat> anyway. So, um Needless to say, I'm excited. Um, I can't get to um, my comic shop, and it's not even my comic shop anymore. I got the boot. I don't know if I, I've talked to you guys about this. I'll just real quick. Um, I live on top of a mountain that's 7,000 feet up in the air. And when I got my pull list at this comic shop that's like an hour away down the mountain, like, once you get down the mountain, it's like an hour away. And it takes like an hour to get down the mountain. Um, I told them, I'm like, I'm not going to be able to come regularly during the winter. So, but hang on to everything and I will come get it. So I didn't show up for five weeks and they canceled my poll list. Um, and that bothers me. And some of you might be saying, well, dude, like that's like five weeks, like no shit. I'm like, yeah, but I told them like it would be like a month, month and a half before I could come down. I have to wait till the weather clears up and blah, blah, blah. Um, so anyway, long story short, um, I didn't get this and I was very upset. And um, like they were telling me like, when I signed up, oh, well, we could just mail stuff to you if you want. And if that's going to be the case, I'll just order my shit online anyway. So why would I drive two hours to have the ability to shop in a store and like look around and all that other stuff and peruse if I'm just going to be ordering stuff online? So um, kind of defeated the purpose for me. But um, so... I was kind of behind on the times on this, but um, spring is close and things will be better, but I'm just super excited for the Conan stuff. So let me know down below what you think and what your thoughts are on this, and um, hopefully I will have another video up soon. So long.